Hey everyone, it's been a long time coming, but I'm very pleased to finally present the winners of the 2023 Chill Out Cover Competition. This year there were 78 incredible entries, representing a diverse range of musical styles. To anyone that took part, I'm so glad that you shared your music with us. The video game music cover community is richer for your contribution. It's also so wonderful to see the collaborative spirit around this competition. I love seeing people making new friends and supporting each other in the comments, and the collaborations that people put together for this were truly inspired. Thank you for making this such a wholesome event. Before we start, I really want to emphasize that there are plenty of noteworthy covers that aren't being mentioned in this video. The judges' top picks were all pretty unique, and trying to rank the upper echelons of this competition is fraught and subjective by nature. So don't take these results as a definitive ranking. Instead, consider them a far from exhaustive list of some of the covers that the judges found particularly impressive. The last thing I need to do before we kick this off is thank a few more of the people who helped to make it happen. My fellow judges Instrument Maniac and Noteblock were invaluable sources of wisdom, and I'm immensely grateful for the time that they put into this. Thank you so much. I also want to give huge thanks to Game Grooves for helping to fund this competition. Game Grooves is a record label, website, and community that is deeply supportive of the VGM cover scene. To see all the important work that they do, follow the links in the video description. Lastly, thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon who have helped to keep this endeavour financially viable. If you've really enjoyed this competition and want to help keep it running every year, maybe consider chucking me a dollar or two on Patreon, it's tremendously helpful. With that plug out of the way, we're ready to begin. Let's check out some amazing videos. Narrowing down our shortlists this year was gruelling. Like I mentioned, there are plenty of worthy entries that aren't getting a shout out in this video, so I'm sorry if your favourites aren't on this list. But I hope you'll agree with me that these 8 covers are all presenting some seriously high calibre work. Arnold Banier's beautifully shot cover of Korok Forest from Breath of the Wild is full of elegant personal touches which make the piece sound right at home on lever harp. This recording demonstrates a perfect balance between warm resonance and snappy articulation. From its polished production to its thoughtful arrangement, there's plenty to love about Ferd K's lo-fi cover of Freedom and Peace from Persona 5. The graceful and expressive guitar solos deserve special mention, they're just so effortlessly cool. Chromatic Apparatus always produces profoundly expressive arrangements, and his cover of Night Song from World of Warcraft is no exception to that. His novel visual presentation appropriately supports the lush and rich sound of his cello and harp ensemble. The mellow patch choices and gentle melodic programming in this cover of Time Gear from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon never fail to relax me. The Explorers Guild have created one of those priceless covers you can just drift away to. I'm a sucker for simple ideas done well, and Isaac Perez Riera's cover of the Stables theme from Breath of the Wild is the apotheosis of that approach. The sweet, melodic shaping of Isaac's playing is supported by a perfectly balanced mix. It's also worth noting how well those shots with dappled light turned out. It's tricky to make that work. Case in point, I actually recorded a version of the on-camera voiceover for this outside, but it didn't work out. I'm in awe of people who can consistently produce great outdoors footage. D Major has been turning out banger after banger for this competition over the last few years. His cover of Gaia's Garden from CrossCode is emblematic of the tight playing and entrancing textures that define his work. Mm -hmm. 
If you've ever wondered how to make a high energy track work in a down tempo arrangement, this cover of Evergrande City by Veyron Media provides a solid answer. Satisfying instrument combinations and sparkling counter melodies bring this texture to life. And I absolutely adored how the warm and fuzzy lead guitar sound melded with folky strumming and vibrant pads in this cover of Hollow Skies from the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Death Mountain's compelling ensemble provides a bluesy spin on the melancholic original. Congratulations to this year's honourable mentions. If you aren't familiar with any of these artists, I strongly recommend checking out their channels, because they're uploading masterful videos all the time. Like in previous years, the audience vote was hotly contested, with lots of videos emerging as fan favourites. Here's the one that just edged out the competition. From the first haunting notes of Terracy Music's cover of The Winterlands from Octopath Traveler 2, you know you're in for something special. Whether you're hearing her jaw-droppingly beautiful vocal ensembles, or her rich and earthy solo viola playing, Terra's mastery of choral and string production is always on full display. The sumptuous textures of this cover expand and develop over the course of the piece, producing a cohesive arrangement which is more than the sum of its parts. It's easy to see why it was one of this year's most loved entries. Congratulations, Terra. It's been so inspiring to see you develop your craft on YouTube over the years, and I'm sure you're only going to go from strength to strength. There was no shortage of creativity in the videos of this year's entries. From polished multiple shot productions, to evocative emotional storytelling, I loved seeing the variety of ways that people found to visually accompany their music. Here are three entries whose videos left a lasting impression on the judges. Sometimes, the best cinematography doesn't draw attention to itself. In classical cover's arrangement of Lookout Landing from Tears of the Kingdom, there are no flashy effects, no striking transitions, just tight editing and some of the smoothest handheld camera work I've seen on YouTube. Shots have been selected so that musical points of interest are always highlighted, and the subtle movement of the camera reinforces the spiritedness of the cover itself. The approach classical covers have taken with this video is relatively straightforward, but it's executed with aplomb.
You might have noticed that I didn't mention anything about Terra's video production when I was talking about her Audience Choice Award. Well, here's why. This entry's visual merits deserve kudos by themselves. This sort of multi-screen presentation is a pretty common approach for a lot of VGM cover artists, but it's rarely employed in such a cohesive way with the audio. I loved how these fades reflected the reverb tails on the vocal hits, and how the different coloured lighting schemes brought attention to structural transitions. It's also worth noting that every individual shot stands on its own as well. Everything is beautifully framed, focused and lit. Terra sets a high bar to meet for anyone else working in this style. Our video first place winner took a different approach to the entries you've just seen. Indeed, there was nothing else quite like it. Let's have a look. When I watched it for the first time, as soon as I realised what Wendy Harper was doing with this video, I had the biggest grin on my face. In case you haven't heard of Unpacking, it's a laid back game where you unpack boxes of someone's belongings and find places for them, and in doing so, learn about this person's life. Wendy Harper has imitated these mechanics with her own belongings in a way that's satisfyingly synchronised with the music. The video alternates between these unpacking sequences and other multi-screen layouts which put more of a focus on instrumental parts. Throughout it, Wendy Harper utilises a photo album style presentation fittingly incorporating assets from the game. What makes this really next level for me is the way it earnestly draws on Wendy Harper's own life. How sweet is this final shot of her with her partner? This video doesn't just reinforce the themes of unpacking, it turns this cover into a moving personal narrative. Thank you for sharing this beautiful work with us, Wendy Harper. I think it's one of the most touching videos I've ever seen in this competition. Alright, here's the main event. There were no shortage of covers which impressed with their production, arrangement, or virtuosity, but after brutally paring down our shortlists, we managed to settle on these three for our audio prize podium. I really appreciate what Pixel Partitas are doing with their covers. Despite the diversity of artists in the VGM cover scene, there aren't that many people making arrangements that would work as traditional chamber music concert pieces. It's a difficult genre to do well, but Pixel Partitas have been nailing it. This cover of the opening theme from Dawn of Mana demonstrates a thoughtful approach to arrangement and intuitive sensitivity in performance. The recording quality is also absolutely impeccable, with the natural reverb of that hall providing warm resonance while preserving clarity. This is a classy and professional production all round.
This cover of the title music from Wii Party was my introduction to Bloggio's work, and talk about a strong first impression. This cover is loaded with cool details. Hardly a bar goes by without a neat fill in the drum or bass parts, and all the solo lines are shaped with tender musicality. On a technical level, it's also a marvel. The ensemble is so tight and the mix showcases every part with clarity. Holding everything together is a deeply satisfying arrangement, which takes the listener through a variety of laid-back grooves. Blorgio makes putting this sort of cover together look easy, but this track is a testament to his incredible musicianship and production chops. I previously said that all of the judges' top picks were unique, and that's mostly true, but there was one cover which we easily agreed on for the top spot. Here is this year's grand prize winner. It's not just the video of Classical Cover's entry which is laudable, everything about this cover is beyond reproach. It's perfect in a way that's rare to see in any musical context. Sure, it's technically spot on, everything is tightly in time and dead in tune, even those stratospherically high violin passages. But even looking beyond those surface features, I really can't see how Classical Cover's performance of this piece could be improved in any way. Every single note is masterfully controlled, with shaping, articulation and tone colours which support the entire structure of the piece. This is the result when impeccable instrumental ability combines with thoughtful interpretation. This might sound like I'm speaking hyperbolically, but I mean every word. This isn't just one of the finest VGM covers I've ever heard, it's one of the finest recordings I've ever heard of any piece of music, and it's a well-deserving winner of this year's competition. Congratulations, Classical Covers. I'm so glad that this competition introduced me to your channel. Everything that you've uploaded since this competition has been a treat as well. Your work is an inspiration. That brings this year's competition to a close. Thank you so much for joining me for it and for making it such a success. I really feel like this is the most important work that I do on YouTube, and it means so much to me that other people enjoy it as well. I hope you'll join me again next year for another chill out cover competition. <laughs>